Hello and welcome. Now it appears that when I recorded my complete guide to paper one video, I skipped over one topic very slightly. That was just an editing mistake there, but I do apologize. So in the interest of completeness, I will now include what I should have included on secondary storage. Secondary storage is a nice, simple topic, not a lot to learn. So we'll go through that quickly. First of all, the need for secondary storage. First, the need for secondary storage. Primary storage, for example, your RAM, your main memory, is volatile. So any data or programs that are stored are lost when there is no power. However, secondary storage devices, for example, your hard disk drive, is needed so that you can store programs and data for a long term or indeed permanently. All secondary storage devices are non-volatile. There are three types of secondary storage technology you need to know about, solid state, magnetic, and optical. Starting with solid state storage. This is based on a technology called flash memory and includes SD cards, memory sticks, and solid state drives, SSDs. The advantage of solid state technology is that there are no moving parts. So you have faster read-write speeds and transfer speeds than other types of secondary storage. It's silent, it's more power efficient, uh, it's shock resistance, for example, if you drop it, it generates less heat. It is robust, portable, and compact, so suitable for mobile and portable devices. However, as a disadvantage, it is more expensive per gigabyte than magnetic storage. Magnetic storage is mostly used on hard disk drives. However, sometimes people do sometimes use magnetic tape for archiving or long-term storage of data. But typically nowadays, hard disk drive is the primary method for magnetic storage. The main advantage is that it has a very, very high capacity. You can have multi-terabyte hard drives, lots of storage space. And that is available at a low cost per gigabyte. It's very inexpensive. Magnetic storage is reliable, However, it is slower than solid state storage. And by slower, we're talking about the read and the write speeds and the access speeds while the drive kind of spins up and the read write head moves to the right location. Finally, we have optical storage. This uses lasers to read and write data from CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray discs. Optical storage is low cost and easy to transport. So it's often used to distribute things like movies, music, and games. However, optical storage disks are easy to scratch and damage. So while optical storage is reliable, it's not necessarily very durable. It's also a lot slower than either solid state or magnetic storage. In the exam, you'll often be asked to choose the right device, the right storage for a situation. You need to think about the following. Capacity. How much data do you need to store? Speed. How quickly does the data need to be accessed? Portability. Does the device need to be moved around? Durability. Will the device be exposed to shock, damage, or a hostile environment? Reliability. Does the device need to be used repeatedly over a long period of time without failing? And cost. How much money is needed to store all that data?